it's September 1st and as we move from August to September my beans are finally producing enough that I have more than I can eat so I'm ready to process them so that I can use them later. So my journal today I'm going to show a way that I freeze them so that I can use just a few at a time. Although I like having a pot of beans uh, the boss of the house just likes a few just to throw into stir-fry or with his steamed vegetables so the way I freeze them I can just take a few out they don't clump together so I'll show you first thing I need to do is cut these into or snap these into good sized pieces broken the beans into pieces. We like ours fairly large because they go into stir-fry and things like that. Definitely you can make them smaller, you can take more of the strings off. The strings and the ends don't really bother us so we tend to leave them on. But definitely you can take them off if you prefer. Beans have an enzyme that causes them to not do well in uh, preservation, to not preserve well, unless that enzyme is killed. So you have to boil it or heat it up really high for about three minutes to blanch it to kill that enzyme. So that's what I'm going to do. I have a pot of water here that is starting to boil, and when it's a rolling boil, then I'm going to put the beans in. My water's at a rolling boil, so I'm going to carefully pour in my beans. And I lost one over here. It's okay that it stopped rolling boil. I'm going to turn my timer on three minutes. You see it took just about three minutes for the water to get back up to rolling boil temperature. That's okay, we know the enzyme has been killed. And the timer is going to go off. So I'll go ahead and turn this off. Turn the timer off. Now I could take the pan over to the sink. It's really hot and the normal way is to um, drain it in the sink and then run cold water. I'm just going to go ahead and scoop these out directly onto a cookie sheet and put them immediately into the freezer. So that's like running cold water on them because it will cool the beans down very quickly. The reason I'm using a cookie sheet or a cookie pan is because I want the beans to freeze individually. If I put them into a container like a bowl, they will freeze in a lump. And then the only way to use them is to thaw the entire lump. But I'm going to show you what happens if we put them on a cookie sheet or a cookie pan. There we go. 
now it's off to the freezer. I'm just going to slide them on the top of the freezer here. They just need an inch at the top, so they just sit on top of everything else. When the beans are frozen, just put them into a container. They are individual, so it's easy to take just a handful to throw into soup, stir fry, whatever you want. If you want a little bit bigger meal, that's okay too. You can pour out as many as you want. In addition to containers, one of my favorite ways to store these in the freezer is with a Ziploc bag or some other kind of bag. I put them in bags that I want to reuse or new ones that have a Ziploc at the top. Because it's um, because the beans are loose, it makes it easy to put it in the freezer because it's not, it doesn't take up a lot of space. It kind of molds to fit the spaces there. So that's the way I preserve my beans to make them quick, easy to use. Have a great day.